section number 202, recognizing Moanalua High School Symphony Orchestra for their historic third invitation to perform at Carnegie Hall. This resolution is offered by Representatives Johansson and Ichiyama. Thank you, Representative Johansson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Thank you very much, Representative Ichiyama. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Thank you very much. It has been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Any discussion, Representative Johansson? Thank you, Mr. Speaker and colleagues. The representative from Salt Lake and I are proud to recognize our alma mater's continued excellence in the arts today. In the minds of many in and outside the broader Moanalua community, our high school is synonymous with phenomenal achievement in music. Today, we honor and commend the Moanalua High School Symphony Orchestra for its record third invitation to play at Carnegie Hall in New York City, one of our country's most prestigious musical performance venues. The symphony orchestra consists of the symphony strings, selected winds, and percussion. The music program has experienced unprecedented growth and success over the years. Moanalua High School places a special emphasis on music, and the music department offers a wide range of courses, including marching band, orchestra, jazz ensemble, and chorus. The department has over 650 students participating in its programs, which is nearly one-third of all Moanalua High School students are enrolled in some form of education associated with the music department. In fact, uh, it literally feels like the representative from Salt Lake and I are the only two alumni who have not participated in the Moanalua High School music program. Moanalua High School uh, Symphony Orchestra holds the distinction of being, uh, and this is truly uh, something special, the first student orchestra in the country ever to be formally invited to perform at Carnegie Hall by the Carnegie Hall Corporation in 1998. This was not only an important achievement for the school, but also an important achievement for Hawaii. It demonstrated that Hawaii is nationally recognized for its musical performance. Moanalua made history by performing in 1998, but it certainly didn't rest on its laurels. It was again invited back and accepted an invitation to play in 2005 once again at Carnegie Hall. Uh, they will also be having a, a record third performance this year later on this month when they perform yet again for a third time. Uh, I would like to quote uh, actually the press release sent out by the Mid-America Corporation, which is a company in charge of organizing performances at Carnegie Hall. The talented young musicians of Moanalua High School Symphony Orchestra have made their mark throughout the country highlighted by two performances in Carnegie Hall. They received standing ovations for their spectacular performances both times they performed previously in Carnegie Hall. The symphony orchestra has received superior ratings for their astounding performances in their state orchestra festival for the past 23 years, and the ensemble is considered by many to be one of the finest high school orchestras in the country. Again, the representative from Salt Lake and I feel like this is an important achievement not just for Moanalua High School, but also for all of our schools, because we all know that there is great things being accomplished at many of our schools, and this is just one of the things that we feel is indicative of all that is happening in the public education system. I now defer to the representative from Salt Lake for the remainder of the presentation. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Ichiyama. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support. Please proceed in support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to take the time to introduce the members of the Monola High School Symphony Orchestra and their teacher that are here with us today. First, we have two students who serve as the president and vice president of the symphony orchestra, and please rise. The vice president is Janie Gawiran, and the president is Skylar Sponberg. Also with us today is their director, Mr. Eldon Seta. Members, can we please welcome them to the chamber? Thank you. Mr. Seta has been selected by the Moanalua High School Student Association as the Outstanding Teacher of the Year on three occasions. Mr. Seta received the John Philip Sousa's Foundation's Legion of Honor Laureate Award, recognizing him as one of the top eight band directors in the country. In 2003, the Milken Family Foundation acknowledged what Moanalua students and their parents have long known, that Mr. Seta is one of the most accomplished and inspiring teachers in the nation. He was awarded the National Educator Award given annually to just two teachers in each state. It goes without saying that it takes more than just determination and an invitation to get a group of students from Hawaii to New York City. The Greater Moanalo community has mobilized to support the efforts of the parents of the members of the Moanalo High School Symphony Orchestra to prepare and equip their students to travel to New York, create and rehearse a unique performance for the audience at Carnegie Hall. 
In order to help finance the trip, the orchestra has held a number of performances for the community designed to give a special view of what will take place when they perform at Carnegie Hall on March 31st, 2013. Throughout the years, the Mono High School Symphony Orchestra has shown a dedication to community involvement and charitable causes by playing benefit concerts. And over the past seven years, in partnership with the Mono High School Symphonic Wind Ensemble, has raised over $220,000 for causes such as the Honolulu River of Life, tsunami efforts in Sri Lanka, and Mercy Ships, an organization dedicated to providing health care to the poor in port areas around the world. Thanks to the vision of Mr. Eldon Seta, the hard work of the Moanalo High School Symphony Orchestra in securing and acing an addition to perform at Carnegie Hall, and the efforts of the community to financially contribute to their trip, 92 deserving students will be able to see their dream of performing in an unparalleled venue turn into reality. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative. <laughs> Members, how about giving them a warm round of applause again from the State uh, <laughs> House of Representatives? Thank you very much. Members, further discussion on the resolution before us. If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. The motion is carried. Thank you very much. Representative Johansson, please proceed with the presentation of the congratulatory certificates and lays.